This is Dan of Vagabond Awake. Dear Changhui from Hope Venture. And I've been to 67 countries over the last 14 years. I left the USA in 2007. <laughs> I'm Changhui from Hope Venture, and I've been to 29 countries, 124 cities. Yeah, and that's why we're able to talk to you about traveling the world and the best places in the world to retire for cheap. And in today's video, what we'd like to cover is. How we pick where to go? Uh, where do we go next? A travel guest. What do you want to know about us or the world? And where we have been during the pandemic, six countries we've been. Yes, and then finally, our prediction for when we think the Philippines will open next. Okay, so how do we pick where to go next? Okay, we're in the middle of a pandemic and some countries are open, some countries are not open. Um, so we pick countries we want to go to, uh, and we pick countries that you can retire cheap in paradise, the ones we think you can, and we go to those and do the research. Um, we often start with Kayak, um, K-A-Y-A-K dot com. Yeah. They have a listing of all the countries that you can get to, whether you do an antigen test, whether you have your vaccine, or whether you don't have a vaccine or an antigen test. They have all the, all the uh, countries listed there. That's a start spot, and then we research and make sure that Kayak's information is correct by going to the embassy webpage of whatever country. Yes. And so that's how we pick where to go next, and then we, we chisel that down to places where you can live somewhere between 1,000 and maybe 2,000 a month. We like to stay between 1,000 and 1,500 because that's that seems to be a number that uh, the sweet spot for most of our audience. So. Yeah, and we also picked that whether the place have uh, nice nature around or beaches or yeah. it's a colonial city. Right. It's something the place that you want to retire and you're still enjoying the place. Exactly. Yeah, it, ha it can't just be cheap. Um, there are cheap places in the world where we're not interested. <laughs> yeah. And so true. it has to have it has to have something of interest to our audience, and that has to translate through film. Uh, whether it's, like Chung said, beautiful nature, colonial era cities, I interesting history, excellent food, all the things that attract people. And comfortable house. Not cheap, but need to be comfortable. Like, yeah. like, a, like have a studio, have a kitchen, fully furnished kitchens, yeah. you know, all these things. Because we, like we like to learn the local food, we like to cook it. We like to eat it both at home and in the restaurants, and we also like to eat healthy. And if you eat out all the time, it can get expensive. And once you get start trying to get under fifteen hundred a month, you can't eat all of your meals out. It'll always add up to more. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you have to cook at least some of your meals uh, at home. So we need a kitchen. Yes. So that's how we pick where to go next. So where do you want us to go next? Exactly. So we're right now we're in Latin America and the world is our oyster. Most of Latin America is open. Yes. We both had our vaccines now, and so we can go to any country that's open that we want to. Um, some of them are open even without a vaccine, but we can go anywhere now oh, that's open. By the way, that I see that Guatemala, before we go there, is we need to have antigen tests, and then you only can enter to the country. But right yeah. now, they changed already. If you have a two vaccine, you can just go to the country. Without a test. Without a test. Okay. So it's the, the the rules is keep changing yeah. every time, so and you have to find out yourself in the kayak right. or immigration. And that's why we don't. It's okay with us if a country's closed right now, and you want us to go there. We'll just make sure it's on our list, yeah. and where what you're interested in finding out about. And yes. once next time we're in that part of the world, by then it'll be open, if not now already, and we can check it out. So, like I said, we're in Latin America, so that includes you know. Uh, the Central America, South America, you know, other other parts of Latin America that you're interested in. We're going to ex finish exploring this while we wait uh, for Southeast Asia to open up. So, um, but we want to know wh where specifically, what countries you'd like to know about. We may we may not be able to do all of them right now, um, but we're interested in that because you're our audience. We're very receptive to what your needs are, and that's why our channel has grown as it has because we watch your comments. We watch your ideas and we try to give as many of them to you as possible. Oh, you hear the people travel there or, or retire there, they have a good life, it's cheap, and just tell us then we can go and experience it. It's really that cheap. Or exactly. Not? Okay, next up, it sounds the same, but it's actually different. What is it you'd like to know? Um, after 67 countries, we've learned some things, Chung 29 countries. We've learned a lot about travel and about places you can live around the world and some of the challenges you face. Um, and there's so much stuff that we've learned 
that we often even forget what we've learned. <laughs> and too. But we realize there's important things to you if you're thinking about uh, settling in an offshore uh, country, you're thinking about traveling the world, whatever it is, there's probably some issues you have or some questions you want answered. And we'd like to answer those in future videos. Yeah, you want to know about dentists, where to get your dentist. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and where to get your body checkup. <laughs> we done that also in a certain country. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So what, uh, an example, uh, people nagged me positively about doing a packing video, but I thought it was kind of stupid. Um, and it because uh, I just felt so dumb like what's in my luggage who cares but people really wanted to know that because of all yeah. the traveling I'm doing what do you leave at home is just as important as what yes. you bring with you and so we got great reviews on that it really helped people and so stuff that I think is important may not always be right so I need your help with that yeah, yeah. we need your help we need your help yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to know <laughs> yeah what do you want to know mm. Where we have been during the pandemic, we been to when the pandemic start the time we was in Thailand, we was in Bangkok, and then after that we uh, go back to uh, Malaysia, which is my country, to celebrate the Chinese New Year, and then on on February we travel to uh, Philippines, and that time is the pandemic start and the border is closed and you cannot be travel, so we will start in Dumagati. A paradise in <laughs> a paradise in Philippines. Uh, we were staying there for seven months, and after that we uh, travel to uh, Mexico, and then after that we travel to Guatemala and then Dominican Republic. Yeah, and we're talking fifteen months of travel during the pandemic. The only frozen time was was when we were in uh, the Philippines. Yeah. We learned about the, like Chung said, we were in Malaysia when we first learned about the coronavirus, but nothing was locked down yet other than yeah. China was locked, locked itself down and then slowly everything happened. Yeah. And then I also made a couple of short trips to the US uh, uh, for family stuff and the, uh, some business I had to take care of during that period. Um, and so those are it's like seven countries. And so um, you can travel, don't be afraid to travel. Uh, it's it's fun to travel, <laughs> and and we've been able to travel almost completely during the pandemic, other than when things were shut down in um, uh, the Philippines when we were there. I think we was um, very lucky when we traveled to those country. Yeah. And they are open, and they didn't have any like shutdown or anything. Yeah. So we able to be travel, except some museum is closed. Yeah. You know? Some things we weren't able to see. Yeah. But mostly we were able to see nature, outdoor yeah. things, enjoy yeah, beaches. Um, we cooked a lot at home because restaurants weren't closed, which we like yeah. doing anyway. Um, but it's still fun to travel around the world. And, you know, um, t take the advice of your doctor whether or not you should yes. travel. Yes. Um, but um, we really, we've seen a lot of fear around the world um, and most of it is overblown. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Um, I, it's real. You need to protect yourself, you know, follow the um, the local rules that the doctors said yes. in each country um, for both your safety and because you want to be a good citizen of your home country as a representative when you travel around the world. So follow the rules and um, and you you should be safe. I mean, we, we're fine. So Yeah, if you follow the rules, like, you know, the SOP, put on the mask, yeah. most of the time you will be fine because I, I can share a story that when we in Guatemala in Lake Attilans, we will stay in the resorts and then uh, yeah. And then we was uh, doing all the activity, have a sun, have a hot tub together with the other guests, with the owner. Yeah. And then last day when we learned to leave, that owner said that <laughs> one of the guests have COVID. Yeah. Like, oh. And then, to, you know, they have a helper come and clean the house, sending stuff to us, you know, like, oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily we are safe. <laughs> yeah, everything worked out fine. So. Yeah, everything is worked out fine. Yeah. Okay, we promised to give you predictions about when we each think the Philippines are going to open. Uh, we're going to rub the crystal ball and we're going to tell you when it opens. Um, but before that, we wanted to invite uh, travel guests on the channel. Um, as you know, from time to time, we have travel guests from different parts of the world that are living as expats in a foreign country and they share what their cost of living is. That's really the primary theme of what this channel is about. Yes. So people know where they can retire offshore and about what it would cost and how much people are doing it for. And it's generally, um, you can spend a million dollars a month if you want to. That's not my audience. It's more people that are trying to stay in the thousand to two thousand range. Um, uh, but um, so if you're in that range 
and you're living in a foreign country, we'd love to have you on the channel. The other kinds of guests that we'd like to have maybe is um, people that um, that have a story about healthcare, about how they had some healthcare done in a foreign country that turned out uh, well or poorly, and and how what the costs were compared to what they would have been in their home country. Um, that'd be great. Or dentists, oh, yes. um, good and bad experiences. Um, and also um, maybe if you're a, a health insurance agent and you want to share about some uh, travel insurance you have or some healthcare, some international healthcare, that kind of stuff, um, please just leave a, um, a message uh, on uh, vagabondbuddha.com. You'll see uh, up, up on the right hand to the corner. Yeah, on here, I'll put it here. Uh, it's Vagabond Buddha slash uh, contacts, I believe, but I'll put it here. Okay, my prediction is that um, the Philippines will open um, probably um, by March or April. Um, and because uh, some of the recent variants are, seem to be more contagious and they're burning through populations faster. And unless a new virant, uh, variant pops up uh, that surprises all of us, I would suspect that um, there'll be enough immunity worldwide uh, by probably late this year that a lot of things will open. I suspect they're going to only want to, at least in the first year or so, they'll only be inviting people that have had the vaccine, um, one of the double shots. Um, most probably. of the country do that. Yeah, most, most of them the are going to do that. Yeah. So, um, but um, but after that, uh, you know, for the people not interested in vaccines, probably maybe a year after that. Yeah. But that's purely a guess. Yeah. Um, but just based on the trajectory now, I would guess um, March, April before the Philippines opens. That's why we are vaccines, so we can two yeah. dose vaccines, so we can be travel without you know uh, a problem. Because a lot of country keep in asking about vaccine, vaccine, yeah, yeah, vaccine, yeah. and they want to see your card, your certificate. So yeah. we got it, so we can travel more. Yeah, we're we're such travelers at heart that it was never really even a question in our mind of whether we would get vaccinated. It was always a question of when, how soon could we get vaccinated? We're both there now. We both have the double shots. My prediction about when Philippines open, I guess, is next year. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know when because right now in my country also we have uh, very high cases for COVID. So we have to see. Hopefully it's next year by June we will be able to travel to uh, Philippines because Thailand is open in the Phuket so you have to be in Phuket for two weeks I guess I can't remember then after that you can travel to surrounding the Thailand but you cannot travel to surrounding the country yet I mean Southeast Asia country um, so there's no point just to go to see the Thailand so that's why we didn't go and um, hopefully by next year by June that we can see Philippines open, Thailand's open, Malaysia is open, and Vietnam and Taiwan, you know, all these countries open so we can explore more in Asia. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching our video. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like, subscribe, or comment. It will help our YouTube channel. It mm -hmm. does help. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Take care. Click the link in the notes below this video. Grab a free copy of my ebook. How I Fired My Boss and Traveled the World for 13 Years. While you're there, check out our catalog of retired cheap reports all over the world and our hobby income course that we just released. Thanks so much.